It's no secret the airlines are making big money charging travelers to check their bags. But could you be overpaying because the airport scales are inaccurate? To on your side, investigator Christine Lazar is here with what you uncovered. Do you guys weigh your bags before you go to the airport? I don't. I do. Because hmm. you don't want to know. She knows. No, she knows. <laughs> No minor of weight. Oh, right. That's right, exactly. <laughs> well, the airlines are making billions off your bags, Pat, and there isn't a lot you can do about it if you want to check your luggage. But before you place your suitcase on that scale, we have this consumer warning. It's enough to make you sweat. You make it? Nope. You get to the airport only to find out your suitcase weighs more than the 50 pound limit. Have you ever been in that situation where you get up there and your bag weighs too much? Yes, we have. And it's not fun. Your options are pay a hefty fee for overweight luggage or feverishly shuffle clothes around until you're under the weight limit. That's what we saw this man doing at LAX. This couple had to do it too. It was showing two pounds overweight. So what did you do? Uh, we removed a heavy coat. Last year, this photo went viral after a Filipino passenger proudly showed off the five pounds of clothing she wore to avoid excess baggage fees. And those fines aren't cheap. I had a friend of mine who was flying on, with a bag that was 50.2 pounds. That was basically 0.2 pounds overweight and they actually charged her $180 for excess baggage fees. Since it's such a money maker for the airlines, it's important for consumers that those scales are accurate. And that's why LA County's Weights and Measures Department tests the scales annually at each of our airports. Late last year, right before the holiday travel season kicked into high gear, LAX was found to have 24 scales that were inaccurate and skewed in favor of the airline. Delta had two scales that were red tagged, Alaska three, United also three, American one, and Southwest, the only airline that still offers passengers free luggage, zero. Every time it's over registering, you're paying more. We tagged along with inspectors as they tested the scales at Hollywood Burbank Airport back in December. 100. Using weights up to 200 pounds to make sure the scales were accurately weighing your luggage. On some international flights, I've seen excess baggage fees of up to $800 per bag. CBS's travel expert Peter Greenberg says in his experience, airports across the country are tipping the scales in favor of the airlines. The scales are not being either properly inspected or frequently inspected. And when you're at the airport, all of a sudden it's your word against the airlines. you got to get on the plane. Ka -ching, ka -ching. An annual report released by the Bureau of Transportation shows just how much the airlines are making off your bags. 4.3 billion in 2019, up from 2.7 billion just a decade earlier. Greenberg says the airlines often make more on the extras than the price of the ticket itself. And last year, the airlines in this country made a whopping $29 billion in ancillary fees. That's checked bags, overweight bags, ticket change fees, etc. So what's a traveler to do? Get a portable scale that attaches to your actual handle of your luggage, sells for about $10. You can get it on Amazon or any other service and bring it with you to the airport. And make sure before you jump on that low cost fare that it really is the cheapest. All those extra baggage fees can add up quickly and travelers aren't happy about it. I'd say that they're bilking the system against the passengers. Now, to be fair, LAX had a few scales that tipped in favor of the passenger. As for Hollywood Burbank Airport, it didn't have any inaccurate scales when the county went out last month. And I do love flying out of that airport. Unfortunately, I, I pay twice what I pay at LAX on the ticket fare, so I don't do it as often.